Okay, so now we finally uh, will do a really quick uh, update on, on uh, opportunity and uh, curiosity. And so today is day 4746 of the 90-day mission and uh, still going strong. And so just to refresh your memory, as I always do, this is where they landed in this uh, small crater called Eagle Crater. It's a crater about the size of this uh, planetarium dome. And then over the last 13 years, this has been their path. And uh, this is about a, oops, sorry, about a uh, um, 20 kilometer diameter crater. And for about the last three years, they've been moving along the, uh, the rim of that crater. But uh, I wanted to actually start back here for just a second. This was the view from Opportunity about, uh, oh, 30 days after landing. This was the landing craft. They spent a lot of time investigating the inside of Eagle Crater and then they, they drove out. Um, recently, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter flew overhead and took a high resolution image. There's Eagle Crater, there's the landing craft and uh, Opportunity sort of did this. You cannot see the, the, the wheel tracks in that image, but pretty cool to actually be able to see the, the uh, airbags and the, the, uh, the landing platform. And so here's a, a close-up view from MRO of the rim of Endeavour Crater. And here's where they'd been tooling along for several years. And the, the, the goal now has been to reach this gully which is cutting across the crater rim into the interior of the crater. And uh, this is a closer up view. The, the hoped for result is that this was caused by water running down the, the, uh, the rim of the crater. It's also possible that it was carved by wind or it could be uh, this downslope uh, like mud flows or, or something like that. But the idea is they're going to enter this gully and drive down into the interior of the crater and uh, that takes them through the, the current end of mission, which is about a year and a half from now. And so here's the path that they've taken. Um, this is as of about two weeks ago uh, where they were sitting, so they actually made really good time. Originally, I think the last time I talked to you, the end of March, it was expected that they would be at this point in uh, late July or August, and they, they actually resisted the temptation to uh, stop and look at every rock along the way and, uh, <laughs> and made some pretty good time. And so they're in that vicinity now, and what they've been doing is what's called long baseline stereo imaging. And so they climbed up on this ridge over here, took images into the gully, They've moved down to this area, take images into the gully, and with uh, stereo images like this, especially when they're separated by 100 or more meters, as this is, um, they get very good resolution on what the topography is in the scenes they're looking at. So that will help them plan their drive uh, into, the, into the gully. And so here's... Uh, where they were when they first drove up to the gully. The gully is, this doesn't look like a gully, does it? But you see this notch in the, the crater rim right there. And then here's where we were yesterday. And so they've driven up right to the edge. Here's the gully going down into the crater. And uh, this is where they're, they're now sitting. And uh, I'm sorry, that wasn't yesterday, it was last, last week. And so here's the, the recap. It's day 47, 46. They've driven about uh, almost 45 kilometers so far and returned to a bit over 220,000 images. Okay, so uh, let's quickly talk about curiosity. Today is day 17, 13 for curiosity. And uh, again, this is its, its target is to 
slowly climb up this 18,000 foot high mountain and measure the composition of the rocks from bottom up to uh, possibly in, in this area. They do not expect to get uh, all the way to the top by any means. But this is their, uh, their path since landing. This dark stuff here is dark sand dunes, and so they've been skirting the sand dunes. And uh, over the last uh, oh, 100 days or so, they've actually managed to cross those sand dunes now. And the plan is, so they're sitting somewhere in here right now, and then this is the plan to start uh, driving up uh, into, the, into the foothills. And so just a, pretty, a, a few pretty pictures. Uh, this was uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry, it's about a week ago. Today's day 1713. I can't do math in my head. <laughs> so uh, what they're seeing is lots of this uh, platy uh, bedrock which is sort of exciting. A lot of this stuff looks like probably mudstone layers that are being eroded. Uh, just to give you a feel for the, the lay of the land here, each of these is probably like a, uh, a wheat-thin uh, cracker, and uh, they're, they're stacked vertically, but then here we have a sort of an upended uh, probably a, a, a crack through that rock that, uh, that had uh, material precipitated into it. And uh, so for the last week, they've been interested in this. It's called white shelf, and it's just one of these platy things that, uh, that uh, looks very bright compared to a lot of the other material around it. This is, uh, is what it looks like in color. And so they actually spent uh, Memorial Day weekend zapping this with their onboard laser to determine the, the composition and looking at it up close with microscope camera and, uh, and trying to figure out what all it's made out of. And uh, now they've moved on. So here's where they were yesterday, just looking off at the crater rim in the distance. Um, you can see the, the atmosphere is fairly hazy, and uh, they're also doing measurements of how much dust is in the atmosphere. So here's where we are, day 1713. They've driven about 16 and a half kilometers, and uh, Curiosity is a real photo fiend. It's got 17 cameras on board, so it, uh, it returns lots of images. and. Uh, We'll see if we can get to the million point before this mission ends.